Hey, welcome back to my channel, and we're back for some more Pokemon Sword and Shield, or Pokemon Sword, the not Luzlocke episode, because we're playing as Aki, which I haven't played in a long, long time, which is basically my casual playthrough, um, where I play as my original character, so the older brother of Uni from my Shield playthrough. I also have a, a Switch Lite, so I am excited to have that. Uh, I will be continued in Nuzlocke series in that one. Uh, I also need to probably complete the Pokedex. Um, but yeah, I have been a little bit busy, as you can see. <laughs> Lost a little bit of health. So, where are we at the moment? So, Rillaboon has been banked. At, well, he's in the box at the moment. I bought over some Pokemon from my previous generations. I definitely need to sort through some of these. Uh, we also have a lot of Ash Pikachus. So we've got a lot of those. Rillaboon has been replaced by Urtifu. We'll see what the Crown Tundra is like. We might... Uh, sort of give my team a little bit of a break. Depending on how things goes. Anyways, we're going to head to... Uh, I believe... Wedgehurst. Where we'll be able to take a train to... The Crown Tundra. Right. So we're still on our bike. I don't think we get any new clothes or anything, so there's no new fashion. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit uh, over the Crown Tundra co like content. I don't know how good that's going to be. I'm going to head to the Crown Tundra. It doesn't really feel much of a expansion, to be honest. That's my opinion on it. Um, okay, so it is down south. So this is like the Scotland area. Of the UK. Because this is like Inverse UK. Or UK that's been flipped over. Right, so we arrive in the Count Tundra. I know there's going to be a... Glorian Slow King, so that will be interesting to get. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra. This is sort of like, apparently somebody, uh, I think Austin John plays, mentioned that it's like, um, how should I put it? A bit like the War Poles in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So that's why I'm a little bit, meh. A part of me don't really want this sort of overcomplicated, like, everything has to be legendary Pokemon, etc, etc. Because it just sort of takes away from it. Right, oh that Pokemon. Oh yes, I do have a Hex Nut Mol Moltang. Okay. I got a Sport... A Sport Cat, okay. Hundred foot... Six, uh, Scene and Quark. I don't know, how big is the Crown Tundra Pokedex? That's something I want to know. Okay. Uh, okay, got quite a lot of blank spots, but I can transfer stuff over. I might need to Google. I don't know what the sport cap is. What is, what is this item that you gave me? Oh yeah, I always have a leak. No, that's a bottle cap. Is it a fashion item? I'm not sure. I'm very confused. Uh, I also bought a Switch Lite, which I think I already mentioned, so... I'll be able to connect my Switch Lite to my Pokemon Sword. Although, I'll probably run a Nuzlocke through my Pokemon Shield first on my Switch, record that, then transfer it over back to the Switch Lite and then connect it up. And then we could do a little bit of a uh, self co op play. But let's check things out. Uh, okay, there's Rose's knees. I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair. I don't need you breathing down on my neck. Also, aren't you cold wearing that? That also looks like a school uniform. Apparently, he is a gym leader. 
But I don't know what kind of Pokemon that he uses. So I don't know what type <laughs> that even is left. Come on, Nia. Be reasonable. Ultra Mega Embarrass. I also wish they gave us Mega Evolution, to be honest. Also, I'm hoping that there will be more DLC content. Yes, you, the boy over there. Back her up. Okay, sure. I have like one HP on uh, my Cinderace, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Fioni. Okay. Oh, Fioni? Fioni? Poparaja. So, same as Rose. Is he still ground type? Okay, with a one time gym leader. Ooh, it's hailing. So that's probably not good. Right, let's do Pyroball. Boom, boom. Kick and blaze. And that's one hit. Right, perfect. So that's done. At least we gain a little bit of HP. Yeah. Did a race fainted. I should have healed. Should have recovered my Pokemon first. Right, let's throw in our Ursafuge. The more hits it takes, the more old. It sounds like he's a. Uh, the Ultra. The Ultra Mega thing sounds like a reference to Ultra Beast. And then the Mega sounds like a reference to. What's it call it? Uh, Mega Evolution. Next thing you know, that's probably like. Um, set moves. But apparently that's not in the game. So that's a bit unfortunate. I think I should have used Surgeon Strike. Okay, it's recovered. Body press. Okay. Took a bit of damage. Again, this is not a Nuzlocke, so none of my Pokemon will be banished at the end of this. My shield playthrough is Nuzlocke, which is on a separate playlist, so check that out. This is Nuzlocke. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, so we defeated Fioni. Pony. Fioni. Yeah, I I don't know. Ah! His daughter's disappeared. My darling daughter, huh? Yeah, he, he sounds like. Oh, okay. Father daughter trip. Tri oh, okay. Wow, okay. Must be. Without her, I can't start this uh, Fentor. Oh wow, he has really cheesy dad pun. Okay. I am wondering what this whole storyline is all about. If I remember correctly, the um. What's him call it? Wasn't actually that much. The um, Art of Armor content. It's been a while. My brain is sort of half switched off at the moment. <laughs> right, let's chuck this on. Moo Moo Milk. Okay. Wonderful. Let's use a hyper potion on Hattery. Right, we're juiced up and ready to explore the area a little bit. I do see an item over here. Oh, we got a fossil Pokemon. Interesting. I do have a little bit of Joy-Con Rift. Uh, I did recalibrate my Joy-Con, but yeah. I am... 
very curious as to this entire map. Let's have a look at the map of the, this whole area. Huh, so that's where the tree is. D Dying Tree Hill where the legendary Pokemon should be. I mean, I'm here. That's the castle which I guess Calyrax is at. This does feel a lot bigger. Oh, Swimbu is in there. Right, I do see a Dynamax then over there. But I'm not too sure which direction I'm supposed to be heading in. I do see like something glowing over there. Oh no, Jinx! Uh, okay. Right, let's use Flame Charge. And that's been defeated. Right. Well done. Okay, we can't go down. You know, I'm just going to travel by foot. Hopefully nothing just runs after us. I still... I saw, I saw something pop up. We're going to get a lot of these ice Pokemon. More armor ice. What is that over there? The max layer. Also, I'm pretty certain that he is going to give us a new costume. Because we do get a new costume for this. I also feel like I should update my uh, YouTube banner. Make it into something a little bit more appropriate. I am interested in seeing some of these new Pokemon that are in this game. Or in this expansion. Okay, we've got Arduino. Again, we get we are getting more and more Pokemon that would be like capable of Mega evolving. So I, yeah, I would like to see more Mega evolution. There's a Snome there. I'm gonna go capture that. Okay, ignore that. Into this layer. It'll be interesting to see which map is overall better. You can't let him. Hmm. I simply can't allow it. How come? Uh, something to matter? Ultra Mega Numpty. Oh, that's gonna get very... Yeah. So I'm guessing we're gonna team up with uh, Peony here. Pony. Pony. I can't pronounce his name. How do you even pronounce his name? I'm gonna Google it. At some... I'm gonna Google it at the end of the video to work out how to pronounce that. Pe Peony. Peony. Oh. Yeah. Better speak to him and team up. Right. Right. Okay, let's hear the explanations of the Dynamax Adventures. So I didn't look too much into this, because I wanted to keep the experience fresh. So it's a labyrinth. Underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell. So by rare Pokemon, I'm guessing Dynamaxable, no, Dynamax, legendary Pokemon. I did hear about a rotation system. Form a team of four trainers to set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon set to await you in the deepest part of the unusual den. To take part in the Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. So this is basically trying to encourage online co-op. And we have to use the Pokemon rental system most likely because we have like 
Pokemon of our own. Which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control. Okay, so there's a peculiar particle. This is literally just an excuse just to get us to not use our Pokemon because, you know, this DLC content is available at the very beginning of the game so that beginners can actually do this. But then there's also trainers who have also cleared this game, like myself, on both my Nuzlocke and my non-Nuzlocke, on my Sword and Shield, that, um, you know, have exceedingly powerful Pokemon. Oh, come back here, old man. Looks so much like Chairman Rose. Okay. So he is, he is Rose's brother, after all. Right. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to... Oh, okay. We can exchange items for... Dynite Ore. Okay, there's a new ore. We can get Beast Balls as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay on that end. But the thing is, I feel like the legendary Pokemons are being devalued quite a fair bit. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we're still new to Dynamax Adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Okay. So, let's not invite any anybody. We're going to choose a Pokemon to fight with. I think... Uh, let's go with Unpheasant. Oh, they got... Oh, okay. Right, there's a water type reaction. Probably Kyogre. Uh, since we have Unpheasant, I think we're going to go with Fairy type. Okay, let's do this. I just wonder how difficult this will be. Oh, we got one. That's a G Max Hatterene. I want that! Right, okay. Ooh, electrical surge. Apparently there is a 100% catch rate on the legendaries. But it's a question of whether or not you can beat it. Right. Let's do dual wing beat. I just realized I didn't use G-Max, well, Dynamax. Is it going to start shielding? Rain Pulse. It's not shielding itself. Pressure? Yeah, I missed my chance to Dynamax. Right, let's use Dual Wind Beat again. Okay. I'm not used to having Pokemon this slow. I prefer the sweeper style, and then uh, I also have the super speedy Peko on Pokemon Shield as well, so I am honestly not used to being this slow. Right, let's do another dual Wimpy. I just realized I could probably use Tailwind. 
Don't know why I didn't use Hellwind. It will speed up my entire team. I'm not doing this strategically. Okay, we've got foul play. Right. So it's weak. We're going to throw a Pokeball. Let's catch it with a normal Pokeball. Hopefully we catch it. If we catch it, that'll be great. Is it a catch? I hope it's a catch. Oh, is it? Is, what, 100 here? Okay, they definitely changed how the Dynamax raids work. Okay, so 100% catch rate. And... Okay, so we got 100% catch rate and where it's continuous, so the HP doesn't recover after each round. So HP doesn't recover after each round. The Pokemon doesn't generate a shield, and we can capture anything we get. Okay, what are we up against? Kangaskhan! Or Kangaskhan. Okay, we got an electric surge. We're gonna get gone to max. Right, let's see. Oh, okay, I don't have enough energy. Uh, we're gonna do life due. This way I'll recover my entire team. Right. Body slam. Ooh, that kind of hurts. Foul play. And there we go with the life due. You know, I might... When I do play my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke, I might transfer my sword to my light and then connect my light to the switch and then that way Aki can help out his little sister. That'd be quite cool. What's expanding force? Play rough. Let's try play rough. Bug bus. Okay. That's probably gonna Oh okay. Stump fist is down. Right, we've got play rough. I don't think Pokemon will revive. So we do have to be careful. Uh, I think I just missed my Dy Dynamax as well. Right, let's do another play rough. Ouch. And we've been paralyzed. Awesome. Okay, Stunfist is back. Right, we're going to try another life cube. Oh, it's loving... It really likes to um, body slam me a lot. Why is that Pinturing just using Accupro pressure over and over again. Okay, I'm, I'm paralyzed. Let's use expanding force. Bug bus. Okay, non-fight all stats and ability. That's a dragon type move. IQ pressure. Okay, nice.
and the electric field has gone. So everything's back to normal. Okay, we can go on to max now. We're going to hit it with max Mindstorm. You know, Rain Dance will be useful if Spin Chewin would actually use uh, Electric Type move. It's doing absolutely nothing. Am I paralyzed? That's not good. Come on, I just want to get a hit in and finish this battle. Stop dragging it out. Sucker Punch. And a bug bus. Okay, Kangas Garnet's down. Don't want to throw a Pokeball? No, I don't. I don't really mind catching it. Right, so we got a Kangaskhan added to the team. Right, we have the advantage over the Dragon type Pokemon. What is that fairy over there? Okay, well, oh, no. Okay, we got Seedra. I don't know what that flying type is. We can actually see the silhouette of Pokemon. So that's interesting. Okay, we're up against Altaria. I'm glad Altaria's back in the game. Right, we're gonna use Play Rough. Rain Ducks. Outrage. Lovely. Oh, that's not good. And Stunfish is now a very tight. So I basically have to rely on my team. Oh, wait! Is all is this all one mode? So basically you can only Alright, so if you do take a knockdown, I think it's only three chances overall for the whole raid. Right, Hatterene is back. We can't Dynamax yet, but we can hit it with Fabra. Outrage. I'm still hoping to hit it with Fabra. Wonderful, we got rid of it. Right, I'm gonna ignore it. Don't catch. Okay, we've got Altaria added to the team. Right, there's a water type. I wonder which legendary it is. I reckon it's Kyogre. Oh no, it's Suicu! Awesome! It's the legendary Pokemon from um, Pokemon Crystal. 
from Johto region. One of the three legendary dogs. Okay, we got we can Dynamax straight off the bat. Let's use G Max Smite. I think this is a little bit more strategic. Okay, wonderful. So we have Dynamax. Okay, Cotton Guard. We're not really dealing that much damage to Suicune. But it is confused, which is good. We're gonna hit it with Mindstorm. Struggle Bug. Okay, special attack has fallen as well. Come on. V Max Storm. Or my Mind Storm. So we turned it into a psychic field. Alright, let's do Mindstorm again. Struggle Bug. Too bad we don't have any electric types. And it's raining again. Alright, going a pulse. Okay. Alright, we defeated Suicune. Alright, we're gonna capture it. Should have a hundred percent catch rate, so this is good. You know, I might just trade away these legendaries, to be honest. You know, I literally have every single legendary to the point where... Unless they're my old, original legendaries, I don't really have that much sentiment over... Over these guys. Okay. I would like to keep... Suicune. I mean, which one is better? Yeah, let's just keep sweeping. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Caught a very special Pokemon, reached the innermost area. Right. Yeah, I should work out a way to give away these these uh legendaries. Because I'm pretty certain that people want them. Oh, it's. What's her name? I'm... Phonia? Peonia? Peonia? Phonia. Watch your uh, names that... Aki. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with I'm Aki. Okay. I think I prefer the name Nia. He used to be a gym leader, you know, even on holiday he's no pushover. But what type of gym leader was he? A 
still can't quite get what what type he was. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naffing like that with a dad? Okay. With Dynamax Pokemon. She she is very enthusiastic about battles. Okay. I bet you could handle taking my place uh, on my old man's Fentor. Okay. Uh, sounds sounds like great fun. The bottom option sounds more like what Uni would say. You could end up running into legendary Pokemon. We already ran into one. How about I meet back up with you two after I've done my own finding the max site? Okay. Enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Okay. Wonderful. I want to get to the Reggie to the Reggie content. Oi! Okay. Oh, he's passed out. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Who murdered him? Right. Uh, what's this all about? Uh, it hurts. What happened? Oh, he tripped on a rock and struck his head. Wow, okay. He took himself out. Oh, okay. A rock coley, sir. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, here's how it went. She wants to have her own little adventure and she doesn't care about Daddy-O. But no worries, you have Aki, the current champion of the Gala region. I still need to also have this battle between Aki and Uni, so I'll probably do that once I clear the Crown Tundra. Dad of the year. Right then, what's your name, kid? It's Aki. Okay. He's very pumped. And he got a Lee card. Oops. Yeah. Let's. And we're gonna go and look for legendary Pokemon. But why are there so many legendaries? I just don't. Legendaries need to be like exclusive. They they need to have this rarity to it. This is ridiculous that you can get them. Left, right, and center. Right, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of the Crown Tundra so far. Uh, Maybe towards the end or something, I might give away these legendaries, uh, depending how it goes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching that video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing. You can also drop any comments in the comments below. Hit the bell icon to turn on notifications so you can get updates on uh, my video uploads. You can also follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games or search for my videos with hashtag Kuroaki Games. Or Add me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games. Uh, also consider clicking on other videos and I'll see you in the next one.